Hi, hearty welcome to you. Welcome. So in this session, we'll tr try to briefly touch upon what's the meaning of sets and how to represent the sets. Now, from a layman's perspective, a set is nothing but a group or collection of objects or things that are related to each other or that belong to other. A simple example can be, you have home repair tool set. What is the meaning of that? If you want to repair the home, all the tools, whatever you need, if you place them all at one particular place, they are called as tool set. If you group them together, it is called tool set. And coming to mathematics, mathematically, we call set as well-defined collection of distinct objects. well-defined collection of objects. What exactly is the meaning of this well-defined collection? That means whatever the definition you are giving, it should not be non-controversial, it should not be non-ambiguous. Um, What's the meaning of that? Is Suppose we define a set as best batsman in the world you cannot define that set because according to different people, the best batsman will vary. Somebody may say Don Bradman, somebody may say Sachin Tendulkar, somebody may say Brain Lara, somebody may refer to somebody else. So the set definition should be well defined and it should not have any ambiguity in it. Now, suppose let us say that we want to have a set of all even numbers. All even numbers is a well-defined set because all even numbers, let us say all even natural numbers. We know that we studied from childhood from 6th onwards that the different types of numbers. We started with natural numbers or counting numbers which we represent by n. This is natural numbers. Then we move to integers which are represented by Z or Z. Then we studied about rational numbers which are denoted by Q. Then we studied about real numbers. Nothing but combination of rational and irrational numbers. Nothing but R. If you want positive only out of this, you will call them as Z plus. Similarly for rational Q plus and for real we call them as R plus. Now you can see that all these are well defined sets. Or similarly you can have some examples of sets are odd numbers. You can have even prime number. Prime numbers is a set. You can have multiples of a number. You can say multiples of 3 is a set. So why we have to understand sets and because every branch of mathematics for that matter in science we have functions. From a layman perspective a function is a tool or a process which will take input, will do some task and will give output. So or it will take input and it will give output after performing some process. So the input is nothing but data and the output is also data. So the input is nothing but collection of data, well defined collection of elements. That is nothing but set. So your input is a set and your output is also a set. So to, un to understand about functions and relations, the foundation lies with understanding clearly about sets. That's why we spend some time now before moving into relations and functions to understand about sets. So sets are nothing but well-defined collection of distinct objects. The meaning of distinct says that you will you need don't need to repeat the objects. So how will we denote the set? We denote the set by a capital number and whatever the objects or elements which make up the set are specified in bra curly brackets or braces 
if you if you can give the values like multiples of 3 less than 20 less than let us say that I want to define a set for multiples of 3 less than 20 I know what are the values and I said multiples of 3 less than 20 and natural numbers I want I want only natural numbers okay so what it will be it will be 3 6 9 12 15 and 18 so this representation is called as roster or tabular representation so to understand about sets how we denote sets we denote sets in capital letter and if we want to specify the elements of a set in one representation how we denote the set is we put curly braces the meaning is all the values whatever is inside these braces we we give all the values we give we specify all the elements separated by comma this representation is called as roster or tabular representation now there is another representation that is called set builder representation how we specify as part of set builder representation we take the same example now if you if you see here in the roster or tabular representation you specify the element you specify the values or the elements you specify whereas in set builder you will not specify the values but you will give the condition or the characteristics which should be followed by x so that it can become the element of this particular set so how will we do that is will specify x then we will say colon then we will say x belongs to now let us spend a little bit time on belongs belongs is nothing but symbol epsilon we call it as belongs and this is used to say that an element belongs to a set now you can say 9 belongs to a suppose in this set 10 is there no so I can say 10 does not belong to a this is called belongs or does not belong and is used whenever you are specifying with respect to a element between element and set then only we will use belongs so I am saying x colon x belongs to natural numbers so n and also we know that what we want is we want multiples of 3 x belongs to n and x equal to 3 n x belongs to n I can say comma x equal to 3 n and also if I say 3 n that means I can have all the multiples but I want it only for less than 20 so I can say it as 0 less than n less than 7 now you can see here we are saying same like how we are specified earlier in capitals equal to we are saying x colon colon means such that now how to read this whole representation is the set of all the values of x such that x is natural number and x is a multiple of 3 and also multiple of 3 3 n and n is between 0 to 7 that means n starts with 1 so I will have 3 n is between 0 and 7 means I have 1 2 3 4 5 6 that means 3 6 9 12 15 18 this representation is called as set builder representation so there are two representations one is tabular or roster re representation and the another is set builder representation now we will go ahead and see some examples and try to understand a little bit about how to represent the sets hi so we'll solve um, we'll go through some examples on sets to understand whatever the concept we have learned write the set 2 by 3 3 by 4 4 by 5 5 by 6 6 by 7 in the set builder form this is a set and it is given in roster form where you the in the in the 
braces we have been given all the values now I have to understand what is the pattern followed here now if I take the values as n equal to 1 2 3 4 and 5 and see what is the relationship I have I see that in the first one I have 1 plus 1 by 1 plus 2 in the second I have 1 I have 2 plus 1 by 2 plus 2 so I can see that it's nothing but equal to n plus 1 by n plus 2 that is the pattern which is followed let's check for 4 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 2 so that is the pattern followed and n should be between only 1 and 5 so this is the set we have so let's go ahead and write it in the set builder form let us say this set equal to a so I will say a equal to how I have to write that first I have to put braces then after that I have to say x such that x is equal to n plus 1 by n plus 2 if I do that if I say x equal to n plus 1 by n plus 2 unlimited values can be there right so I have to specify the value of n so I will say and 1 less than or equal to n less than or equal to 5 now you can see that very clearly if I say x is such that x equal to n plus 1 by n plus 2 I can take any values I mean I can take n equal to 0 0.02 or n equal to 0 0.05 or n equal to 10 to the power of minus 6 because you haven't specified anything about n but once I specify that n is between 1 and 5 it is very clear that I can have only the values as 2 by 3, 3 by 4, 4 by 5, 5 by 6 and 6 by 7 ok let's do the next example E is the set of all letters in Jatin write E in roster form in roster form what you will do you have to specify the set in capital letters then you will put the braces in the braces you have to write the elements and you know we have to write distinct so I'll start with the Jatin first letter is J A then you have T then you have H then you have E after that you will have again N you will not repeat the E because even though E is there second time you will write on write it only one time and this is nothing but equal to A T N E H comma J so the point to be noted is it doesn't matter whether you have written them alphabetically in one particular order or not as long as whether it is repeated or not repeated you have all the elements covered then those two sets are equal so equality of sets means you should have same elements in both the sets then they are equal okay let's go to the next one a is given by 2 4 8 16 32 write a in set builder form set builder form means what I have to do I have to say a equal to then first I have to start with x then I have to say colon the meaning of that is all the uh, set of all the values of x is such that and after this if you see you are giving the constraints or the conditions what needs to be satisfied by x so now what is this 2 4 8 16 32 what is the pattern you see here this is nothing but 2 power 1 2 square 2 cube 2 to the power of 4 2 to the power of 5 that means can I say it as x such that x is equal to 2 to the power of n see here first is 2 to the power of 1 second is 2 square third is 2 cube fourth is 2 to the power of 4 so I can say 2 to the power of n that will leave infinite right so I should specify only for this condition so I will say and what is the condition n should be between 1 and 5 so I can write it as 1 less than or equal to n less than or equal to 5 now same thing I can also say it as 0 less than n less than 6 whenever I say 0 less than n less than 6 the boundaries are not considered but whenever I say 1 less than or equal to n less than or equal to 5 the boundaries are considered both are same way of representing it 
so that's a little bit briefly about the sets and their representation in the next session we will go through different types of sets like what are finite sets infinite sets what are empty sets and uh, afterwards we'll see what are subsets power sets the universal sets it's going to be very very interesting we just started sets this is as part of cbse 11th class sets thanks for visiting bye for now see you in the next session